Uh, this should be a really fun one. Um, we're going to look at painting pixelated textures, the kind you might find in a game like Minecraft. Um, I find it really fun to put together because you're defining the kind of sh the shapes a little bit with the with the pixel textures, and the modeling itself is super basic, super easy. So you can jump right into it and have a lot of fun quite quickly. Okay, let's. Uh, jump into the first step which is modeling the car we're going to go we're going to stick with just the car for this one okay we have our default scene and we're going to create our cool futuristic car thing with as little polygons as possible leaning on the texture more to define the the smaller details so we're going to keep our default cube we're going to start by just scaling it around in object mode just to give a basic kind of shape. Okay, looks cool. And we're going to Alt A to apply any scale and stuff because we did it in object mode. We're going to add an edge loop here. I'm just going to see if I can mirror the topology. Sometimes that doesn't work. Like today, it doesn't work. No, oh, I mean to fix that we should be able to just kill one side and let's do it with the mirror modifier instead cool clipping merge sweet And let's start defining our super futuristic looking car. Can I go with a kind of tapered front? It's pretty cool. It's gonna have another edge loop. Let's widen that out a bit. Just hitting X to constrain it to the one axis. Just going to switch into orthographic mode here. Yeah. Okay. Tuck the back in a bit. So maybe we should give it a little bit more height. Yeah, so maybe that that whole thing is the is the windscreen. Shift out of perspective. Could be cool, could be cool. Scale it, make it a little bit longer than apply. Double G on the keyboard. Let's another, add another edge loop here, actually. What does that look like? Mm. No. Just going to make that overhang a little bit less obvious. Yeah, maybe add a bevel here. Yeah, all right. I think that's kind of mean looking already. Just going to select the edge here. No, I think. I think keep it stupidly simple. All right, let's add some wheels. Cylinder. Eight. Let's give it 12. 
rotate 90 degrees. Let's give some thick wheels, thick and low riding. Damn, computer is chugging when screen capturing at the same time. Seriously, need another computer. Okay. I think that looks kind of good. Let's duplicate the wheel for the back. Not totally in line, but yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Actually, maybe, maybe... It's like a one wheel back? Or is that lame? That feels kind of lame. Let's add a little bit of a I feel like this should taper in a bit. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Actually, let's uh, let's redefine that edge. Whoa. That's weird. It's doing some mirror merge thing that I don't know about. Weird. It's new. Um, okay, let's go about this a different way. What the hell is going on? Uh, I still have mirror stuff on. That makes sense. Yeah. Let's bring the wheel arch bit out a bit more. Okay. Join this geometry together, automatically mirrors, nice. That's it really, that's that's our model. Maybe just give it a little extra height here to accommodate the extra tall robots. All right, our model is done. Now let's move on to perhaps the most boring part, uh, for me anyway, which is UV unwrapping. Okay, thankfully, um, because our model is so simple, UV unwrapping should, should be a breeze. So let's go into edit mode. Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to apply the mirror, go into edit mode and start selecting our seams. First, I'm going to select the whole bottom and do these wheels as well while I'm at it. Then do select loops, select boundary loops, hit control E. Mark seam. I'm going to select all of the bottoms here. Oh, we forgot two here as well. Mark seam. It's kind of almost like a, a box unwrap, but it's good to get, particularly for the the pixely textures we're going to create, it's good to get everything as straight as possible or without much 
deforming. All right, so let's select everything and do unwrap. Okay, that looks pretty good. Everything that that is kind of uh, can be straight and perpendicular is. The only thing we need to do as well, because we're going to be dealing with quite low resolution textures, is to make sure our islands don't touch each other. There is, I believe, a pack function, pack islands. And you can crank up the margin. I'm going to go 0 0.5. Okay, that's our UVing done. Let's jump into texturing. Okay, I'm going to switch our UV window over to our shader window. Just hide the numerical panel there. And it looks like we already have a surface set up. So let's call it Future Car. And an, add an image texture. I'm going to link these together. Do F because I have Node Wrangler enabled. Super handy. And this is kind of important. I'm going to switch from linear to closest. Um, I'll show you why we do that in a second. I'm also going to move over to my tablet. Always handy if you have a tablet for painting stuff. And we go to object mode. Uh, sorry, in object mode, create a new texture. And we want super low resolution don't need it alpha future car texture and then if we jump to texture paint on our brush we jump to fall off pin it all to the top so we have kind of super nice clear defined pixels uh, i'm just switching mirroring on there as well and sometimes depending on how big your island uh, how big the margin is between your islands you need to adjust the bleed i'm going to just switch to turn it down a little bit to one uh, and now to quickly show you the difference between uh, the interpolation method here that's sort of nice clean pixels and by default it tries to interpret it uh, interpolate it in a nice way but we don't want that because we want to create some nice pixel type texture effects okay cool while well, we're here let's just bring up another window switch it to image view and paint so we can paint on this one as well should we wish to the first thing I'm going to do is set a base color. Let's go with something snazzy. Let's go with like a an orange. All right. I'm going to switch on our material preview as well. The feedback isn't quite as nice, keeping it in the, the normal kind of um, solid mode. But I just prefer the look of it. And for this kind of detail, it holds up just fine when painting. Okay, I'm just kind of speeding through here because I took quite a bit of time and I wasn't really talking about a huge amount um, to say that I was using masks a little bit, just selecting things in edit mode and then using the mask option to just isolate things so to not paint over anything else I was also messing around a little bit with the mirror mode uh, when using pixel brushes sort of like this it it's only somewhat successful it doesn't seem to translate across to the other side particularly well um, and here after sort of building out the main kind of shapes of the windscreens and decals and stuff like that we're just adding single pixel lines using blend modes like screen and multiply to add a little bit of surface detail 
um, some sort of edge highlights and wear and tear, things like that. Cool. And now the bit that I find the most fun is we're going to add an emission layer on top of our cool car. So let's just control space to get into our shader view. We have one texture here, which we should save. Actually, we should save the whole file because I haven't saved that yet. So let's go file, save. future car and save our image as well back into our shader view let's add another texture car emission okay let's add an add shader and an emission. I know you can do this through the principle, but it's nice to have this strength slider as well. The, the alpha, like overdriving the alpha does sort of do the same thing, but I've come up against issues when it comes to displaying stuff in EV. Switching from our linear to our closest. Making sure we have that texture selected, just cranking this up to five. Okay, let's just turn down our light a little bit. Uh, switch on our ambient occlusion and bloom. Point. Let's go to one intensity point one. Now let's paint in our emission, which is always fun. So mix again, start with our headlights first. Maybe we should do some sort of like head up display thing that could be kind of cool as well. Okay, that's about it really. Um, so the important things, I suppose, like the takeaways are um, switching from linear to closest. Also, it's handy in film and under the render settings, filter size, switch that down to nothing. Preferences. Viewport, you can just like switch off all of the anti-aliasing and then you have kind of a cool pixel texture asset cool um and this is our final car and i think it looks pretty cool um yeah i'm keen to see what you come up with um, if you do make something using this style, then let me know on Twitter on uh, at Louis Dumont. And thanks for watching.